What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here, and I am so stoked to be here teaching you a classic song that uh, I hear about all the time from students. They love this song, and they all want to learn it. So I'm going to break it down for you. I'll break it down for you. And uh, we'll zoom in. I'm going to show you the chords, and then we'll work on that rhythm, because I know a lot of people really need help with their rhythm, especially the beginners. And also, I appreciate your support. So, you know, leave comments, like the video, let me know other songs you'd like to learn. Uh, and I would really appreciate you subscribing to this uh, new channel of mine. Tell your friends, this is where I am. I really appreciate that. Uh, but let's zoom in right now and uh, start playing. Here we go. All right, so there's two parts of the song and a little bit of rhythm going on. But I'll show you the, uh, the chords first. It's an E power chord, and there's different ways to play E power chord. I'm playing it with uh, my index finger covering the second fret of the A and the second fret of the D. I'm not really getting the other strings in there. It's just a thick, raunchy power chord. Then it's a G power chord, and I'm, I mean, it might look like I'm playing a bar chord, but I'm really playing the third fret of the low E, the fifth fret of the A, and with my pinky, the fifth fret of the D. So that's a power chord as well. So we're going E, G, G, D, D, C, which is funny. It actually is kind of like rocking in the free world. Never thought about that. The amazing things you come up with on the spot, right? So E power chord, G, then D, D, C, and it would be the easiest way to do those power chords would be index on the fifth of the A, ring on the seventh of the D and pinky on the seventh of the G. And then you scoot that down a whole step. Now I see Kurt Cobain using a kind of bar chord technique. And you do kind of hear that B string in there a bit. So if you're not good at this bar chord, you can play a power chord. Or if you're already kind of working on this bar chord idea, which would be barring the fifth fret and then rings covering the seventh of the D, G, B, and then a whole step down. And in the chorus, there's a B flat in there, which he played like that, which you could play like the top three strings, these A, D, and G strings instead. So let's do the top. If you notice my hand, one and two and three and four and, it's feeling that pulse, but it's not strumming every one of those. And so if I, whenever, when I relax my left hand, Oh, and quick reminder, if you're trying to match up to the Nirvana Unplugged, the guitars are tuned down a half step to E flat. Played this way, but down a half step. Uh, that's what they did live in that whole show, I believe. They were all tuned down a half step. 
but this is I was uh, basing this off of the Nevermind recording. So we have that part, and then the next section, the rhythm's the same, but it's D down to C. But uh, actually, instead of da da da, instead of boom da da, it's da da da. So D, D, C, G, power chord, to the B flat that I was talking about earlier, which you could play one, three, three, or one, three, 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 like that. So check it out. comes the next part. Up we go. All right, the second section again. Now that B flat is the same thing on the E string as six, eight, eight. So <laughs> So anyway, hope that helped. All right, there was the lesson. I hope you enjoyed it, and now you can play it, and you're excited about guitar. Uh, also, thanks again for your support by subscribing to this channel of mine. Thank you so much. I'm stuck here in this uh, square, but uh, I really appreciate your support. And <clears throat> if you if there's a song you'd like to learn, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video. You know, all that support is super appreciated, super, super duper. Uh, thanks again. And uh, we'll, we'll rock out, hopefully, in another lesson real soon. And I will see you there. I will be there. So thanks again. See you later.